Hey, and welcome to VFX Tutors. As you know, I'm Josh, and in this tutorial, we will be going through some modeling showreel tips. So these are kind of like tips that I've just, I've used on my showreel and helped me get um, some sort of modeling uh, jobs and stuff like that before. Um, so they're not something that you have to do, but these are the kind of things that I do on mine and have helped me. So I'm just gonna get straight into it and um, yeah. So I've opened up Nuke. Um, this is from a previous project that we did, um, the Boole advert project, which was uh, a complete series sort of walkthrough of how to make a complete advert for yourself. Um, we chose the Booble O2 because um, it's not a complex sort of concept sort of character to create and it kind of it allows us to sort of tap into every sort of department for modeling, texturing, reading, animating and all sorts. And basically that project was having a sort of um, an advert idea, um, shooting some footage, having the concept, then basically going from concept to final piece. So doing all the modeling, texturing, rigging, animating, and all sorts just to get through and complete your project. Um, and that's all free on my YouTube. So if you want to go through that and do that, um, I'll put a link in the description and hopefully it should pop up here, but it's, um, it's a good fun project. Um, uh, it's not super complex on all levels, but it will show you how to do, um, it will give you a good insight of all the sort of departments of VFX. So I'm just going to go through some sort of match, uh, modeling tips. And these are not like solid tips that you have to have to do in your showreel. Um, they're kind of just things that I do in mine. Cause I'll have like, I got, uh, multiple different types of showreel for different sort of jobs that I'll apply for. So, I'll say, for instance, for my modeling one, which is mostly hard surface modeling, um, I'll sort of present it like this. And you don't have to do it like this. You can do it in your own way. But um, these are sort of the way I do it. And I just want to share how sort of I present my modeling showreels and how they have worked for me, basically. So basically, the, the first and number one rule, which I would always say actually is a solid rule, um, always show your best work first. Just always show your best work. If you've got uh, like work in process sort of projects that you're doing, sort of feature them at the end. But basically you don't, when you're sending your showreel off to recruiters, you really have to grab them in that first couple seconds or because they're gonna be looking through loads and loads of showreels basically. And you wanna have yours really nice um, laid out, quite neat and tidy and basically giving them everything that they're looking for. So with that saying, you've got your best work. The second thing I would probably say that you absolutely have to do for, definitely for modeling, is you have to show your, your wireframe. So this is really important because this shows that you're actually modeling things correctly and you're not like modeling things in a crazy wild way because you can do that and it looks absolutely fine, but it may not be so good for other people in the sort of pipeline because it needs to, you need to be able to work with others, basically. So showing your wireframe is an absolutely essential part of a modeling showroom. Um, obviously, like your beauty as well. So these two here are absolutely key to a modeling room room, for sure. And I've added my UV, because I, I do like doing that, adding my UV, because it shows that I've, like a model on UV, and basically show as much as you can on the, what you can sort of do. And you'll notice that I've kind of, because you can't do this with every sort of model character that you model, but because this is kind of a small stubby character, I can actually present them all in one shot, sort of, instead of going, because you'll see it, people will have a turntable and they'll play just the beauty, then they'll play the wireframe, then they'll play whatever afterwards. And then like, you've spent almost a minute on just one character. So whatever you can do to get through and show as much as you can in a little amount of time as possible will be the best sort of situation. So for stuff like this, I'll try and get everything shown all at once. Um, I try and for all my sort of background stuff, I'll, I'll keep everything very uniform. And I'll try not to like change the layout between shots. So if I have different things, I'll I'll always try and keep my background the same. Um, 
And for this one in particular, because I've done the whole lot, because it's a fairly simple character, I have actually added a very small amount of animation just to sort of, so it doesn't look so static. And it kind of like jumps out a little bit more. So that being said, there's not, I don't think there's a huge amount of tips really to go on a modeling show rule apart from showing your best. Make sure you definitely show your wireframe and any extra added bonuses. I'd say like probably my final tip is to make sure everything's neat, tidy, and sort of you're consistent throughout. You don't want to be sort of chopping and changing the way you do your wireframe. Um, different sort of, I don't know, sometimes you see like um, you'll have a shot like this and something like that and someone will do something else and you'll have like a weird different sort of background. You kind of want to make everything very nice and clean, very professional basically. So you can see that I've got some sort of um, animation on here and you don't have to do that, but you'll notice that for me, the best way is to do my wireframe sort of this way. So I'll just go through and sort of show you how I did that really. And it's, it's not complicated, it's very simple. It's just a very simple A over B. So I'll just model, uh, render my wireframe basically. I'll have my turntable. That just means that I can just overlay it on my beauty and, and literally just using an overlay on it. And I'll use that for every single one. So I'm consistent throughout all my shots. Then I'll have my background. So there's not a huge amount of things I can really go on. This is kind of just how I do for all my shots. Um, trying to think of what else to really say on it. Um, it's, it's still very much show your best work and like probably the two golden rules of a uh, modeling show is show your best work and make sure you show your wireframe with your model. And then just as a personal touch to try and keep it as clean and tidy as possible. So you can see like I would do all my shots like this. And if you've done the entire shot, I haven't got it here right now, but um, because I have done everything here, in the bottom left, I'd probably put all aspects. And they'll know that I've done everything in this shot. But say if you've only done the modeling, you do need to say that you've only done the modeling. And same for as texturing or rigging or anything like that. It's always good to make sure you they know what you have done as part of that sort of asset. But then other than that, it's it's there's some very simple sort of tips, but sometimes the simplest things help you quite a long way. And I'm trying not to like go on about it, but there's really not a huge amount to really say about it, apart from wireframe, clean, tidy. So I, I hope that's useful. And also you got a kind of insights on how I'd do it as well. This is how I'd do mine. So yeah, hopefully that's been useful. I've probably just like gibbered on a lot, um, trying to make a video out of something that's very simple. That could be like a sentence, but yeah, you got an idea of how I'd sort of put it together and the main thing is that I kind of I'm using as much I'm using as much of my screen space is what I'd like to do as well so I'm not got these big empty spaces here I like to try and show as much as I can in a little amount of time basically so I hope that's been helpful I, I know I've probably gibbered on a lot um, but yeah um, thanks for watching um, leave a comment or like the video or not don't like it your choice if it's been helpful to one person that's good enough for me so thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video